what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? 29-year-old Tahansti Marie Smith of Milwaukee faces arson, domestic abuse, and a reckless endangerment for dun, 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 setting her husband, Henry Williams, on fire. That is a hell of a damn opening statement. Damn. Backstory, fam. Henry tells investigators that Tahasti had been tripping for months. On the night that she attempted to murder him, authorities say that Tahasti poured some lighter fluid inside of a cup, went to Henry's uh, room where he was lying in the bed, I guess their room, and poured the lighter fluid on his head and set it on fire with a lighter. Luckily, by the grace of God, and a whole lot of luck, do survived. But he received third degree burns on his hands, his chest, his head, his neck, his ears. I mean, she got him good. She got him real good. Do said in the months leading up to the arson that she was in the in the uh had been in the uh in the basement you know with her pills you know she had been taking her medication and she had been spending a lot of time in the basement and on the day of she was pacing around the house and he walked in and told her look I'm leaving you so later that day uh she, I guess, was eating some chicken or was about to eat some chicken and she thought he had poisoned her chicken. So she poured the uh, lighter fluid on him and set him ablaze. Now, she told authorities that she was not trying to kill him. <laughs> that's a hell of a warning. I mean, that's about as close as you can come to killing somebody without wanting to kill them, right? Y'all believe that? I don't believe her. I believe that she tried to kill dude. Fam, this is why it's important for all of you who like those relationships that have drama. Because some of y'all like to fight. Some of y'all like all that arguing and stuff. Y'all like the drama. You love it. I mean, you, you, you're attracted to it. And this is why these type of things are not a good idea. Toxic relationships are not a good idea. Because you never know when a person going to reach a breaking point. You never know when that person going to snap. When you are in bed, when you are asleep, you're at your most vulnerable that you'll be. And the person that share a bed with you or a person that lives in the house with you have total access to you. And they can do whatever they want to do with you. They can kill you themselves. They can, they can you know, tie you up, put some handcuffs on you and just you know, stick you with a toothpick a thousand times, or, you know, they can cut your throat, they can let some killers in to kill you, take care, take you out, they can set the house on fire, whatever they want to do to you. So you have to really trust somebody who you, you know, uh, sleep around. You know, you got to really trust somebody who, you know, wherever, if somebody has access to where you lay your head. You got to be able to really trust that person. This is why I don't understand people who engage in domestic abuse, all that domestic violence and stuff. You know, look, first and foremost, for me, you know, I would respect the person that I'm in a relationship with. Or I'm not going to be in a relationship with the person. If I, if so obviously, if I respect that person, I'm going to protect that person. I wouldn't want to bring no harm to that person. You know, my house is really my safe haven. Like, it is really my castle. Like, if somebody comes into my house, they are safe. I'm going to, I feel obligated to protect that person. So even a visit or whatever, if I ever have anything going on at my house and, and you're invited to my house, you never got to worry about somebody uh, over in the corner acting like they want to fight you or do something 
do something bad, bring some type of ill uh, to you or something like that, bring some type of harm to you, you ain't got to worry about none of that when you come to my house because uh, I don't do drama, period. See, it's enough drama out into the world. When I walk in that door, I want some tender loving and peace, period. That's the way I rock, period. Anybody want the drama, go deal with somebody else. I don't have the patience for it. And I'm not working on no relationship like that. No, I'll invest in a relationship. I ain't working on that. So uh, I know I said now, but I'm not gonna work on one, right? I'll invest in one, but I'm not going to work on a relationship. You know, shit, I already got a job. But I don't wanna come home and work, you know? You know how it goes sometimes, you know, with relationships, you don't get a break. Even with work, sometimes you want a break. Sometimes you don't feel like working. With relationships, you can't take a break. You can't not feel like being loving or giving or generous or listening. You can't be, you know, or else it's just going to only exacerbate things. So, you know, I don't do drama, period. So it really trips me out when people are in these relationships and they're violent toward one another. Like, man, you putting your hands on that woman, man, and you, you know, first of all, you know, that ain't cool. But on top of that, you lie, you're lying your head around this woman. This is where you lay your head at. Not cool. That ain't cool at all. That's not, 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 not just not cool. It's not smart. It's not smart at all. Anybody that you allow in your house, you laying your head somewhere, and that person got access to you, you want to make sure that y'all got a damn good relationship, that you're on the same page. Some of these dudes, I've been seeing some of these dudes, man, they be like beating on women. They beat a woman, they be drunk, beat a woman or whatever, and just go to sleep like ain't nothing happened. So basically, they're just gambling that that woman gonna continue to take it. The trip part about it is that only a few actually snap and go there. The problem is the abuser never know which one that's gonna be. They don't know which chick is going to do it and they don't know when she's gonna do it. Those are not good odds for me. Not a chance, not, not a chance I'm willing to take. That chick is wild though. He had the right idea. Perhaps just a little too late. A better idea would have been just to avoid all along because I'm sure, you know, there were red flags well before the night in question. Man, people are crazy out here. That is why it's very important to be cognizant of the fact that if you make that bed, one day you could burn in it. No more talk. What the haters talking about? <laughs>